I'm so glad that we are here to explore the energy of this month of June. It is a very big cosmic energy that we're going to be working with. And that is wonderful. It's not a, it's not a stressful energy. It's not going to ask a lot of you. And yet, because it's such a big field, because it's packed with all of this potential, then it can be that old patterns can get triggered in you. So we're going to focus in the sequence I'm going to show you in this practice, and we're going to focus on grounding. We're going to focus on really allowing your parasympathetic nervous system, that amazing ability for you to feel cherished and loved and connected within your own system and your own life. We're going to focus on that rather than you possibly reacting this month in your sympathetic nervous system, that place of fight, flight, freeze, that place of restriction where your habitual energy field really comes into play. My name is Prune Harris. I'm the energy expert and I've been able to see energy since I was born. And I've always loved really observing the way that the energy around us that changes with these moons. And of course, this month we've got big moons. How this energy affects the human energy system across the board. Every human, most animals, everywhere in the world. It's all the same. Our human energy fields have to expand to meet whatever it is that the cosmic energy of the month is bringing in. So the vibration of this particular month coming up, this month that we're about to enter in June, shows itself as a color, as an amazing rich bronze color. Of course, when we see color, we're just seeing a representation of that specific vibration. So when I look at the energy of this month, I see this sparkling, resonant bronze. And I've never seen a bronze before. So it's interesting that there's something a bit different about this month. And as I've said, it's packed with potential. So I want you to be able to really meet that potential, really feel expansive and not feel knocked off or unstable. So let's do this practice. And I'm going to really recommend that you do this practice regularly throughout the month of June, because as that big field is affecting your energy, then what I wish for you is that your own energy system, you're an amazing collection of energetic waves and information. So your own energy system is able to continue to expand with ease, with a grounded grace, rather than you expanding and then it having to contract for a while and then expanding that's a very natural flow in your energy field. But when it's being initiated by such a big cosmic field, then we want it to be as grounded and stable so that you can integrate in far gentler ways. All right, let's start. Let's take both hands to your heart and simply bring your attention Allow your intention to be that of peace, of relaxation, of connectiveness, connectiveness into yourself. Whether you're sitting, standing, or lying down right now, invite that feeling of rest, and connection to come really close to you. Anytime you hold the hands over your heart in this way, you invite balance into your heart field. And your heart field is so vital for you to be able to ground, for you to be able to have that beautiful coherence through your whole body system. So let's take another full breath here. And 
you're going to take one hand to the back of your head and you're simply going to lie it in that place where your skull ends and your neck begins on that occipital ridge. And with your other hand, let's bring it flat along the forehead and whatever pressure here feels good to you. Let's take three breaths together here. If you're lying down, you can support your arms with cushions or pillows. If you're sitting, you can always pop your elbows on your knees or the arm of a chair or a desk. Be comfortable. Now leaving that hand on the occipital ridge and bringing the other hand into that beautiful space where your chest and your throat meet. It's a place where many of your extraordinary channels, those deep, deep reservoirs of your radiant soul energy. It's a place where they meet, where they go deep in the body, where they go up to the head and where they go down through the heart, into the gut, and deep into the lower abdomen. Let's bring that hand onto the solar plexus. All of these points help to harmonize your amazing vagus nerve. A deeply electrical part of your system is the nervous system and the vagus nerve holds so much responsibility and ability to communicate between all of your body and into the brain. It gives you that potential to connect in creativity, in balance, in harmony. And we want your vagus nerve to be relaxed, able to expand, to meet this cosmic energy, and also to rest. And bringing that hand onto the lower abdomen here. And now release that hand from the back of your head and allow both of your hands to create a diamond shape at the very bottom of your central meridian. Let's take a breath here. Now you're gonna leave your left hand there and with your right hand, Let's come all the way up that central meridian, that central channel, up to the bridge of the nose and sweep over the forehead above the right eye, slowly through the temple, underneath the right eye, back to the bridge of the nose. You've made a big circle there, up through the bridge of the nose, and you're going to make another circle over and around the left eye. And let's just come slowly here. We're communicating with that sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. We're inviting those extraordinary channels to really pick up their level of connectivity. Let's do one more full, slow circle around the right eye and the left eye. And this time as you get to the temple on your left, go behind your left ear, down that left arm. 
until you're back with both hands in their original position. And now you're gonna leave your right hand there as you come all the way up the center. To the bridge of the nose. And this time let's start by sweeping slowly up over the left eye, through the left temple, across the left cheekbone, and then continuing to the right. So you're making those beautiful lemniscate patterns, those horizontal figure eights, through this powerful interface between your sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems. You're inviting your body system to really drop down, release those stress levels, ground deeply in the center of your own being. Let's do one more full circle around the right eye, the left eye, up through the bridge of the nose and make our way back through that right temple behind the right ear and all the way down the right arm until you're back in that original diamond position. Hmm. Just pay attention to your body. Get curious. How are you feeling right now? For my body system, I'm deeply grounded. I feel that expansive space around my heart field. Now, we're going to hold one more position here. I'm going to wrap your hand over the front of the body so that your fingers are wrapped over some amazing points there. They're your great wrapping points. They help your blood. They help increase the level of communication through your entire body system. And with your other hand. So let's take our left hand and put it on the right wrapping point. And with our right hand, place it on the left side of your face. And again, you just want to tuck into this place. Rest here. Allow and invite that feeling of spaciousness into your body. Breathing. See if you can really tuck in here. Maybe if you're sitting, you can bring a gentle rock. If you're lying down and are still, then that's perfect too. This month is all about finding that stillness, even in the place of bigness, of movement, of dynamism. And let's switch over. So this time your right hand is going to cover the left wrapping point and your left hand up on the side of your face. And tuck in. Can you lower your chin some? I'm actually going to move my hand to make sure that you can hear me properly. Can you lower your chin? Can you find that place of breathing, allowing your chest to fully open, to fully release? Hmm. Okay. So I really hope that that practice feels delicious to you. 
and that it helps you have a really magnificent June where you get to experience so much of your beautiful bigness. Bye-bye. This month, interestingly, is a very, very electrical month. We're already in it. I suspect many of you have been experiencing some kind of electromagnetic, well, let's say disturbance, lack of cohesion because of the amount of solar flares that we are getting. Let me know in the chat if actually you are aware. Now, unless you track solar flares, you won't know that they're happening, but how that shows up in your body system is all around your heart. Nikki, you're saying, yes, Vicky, yes. Um, that electrical field of your energy system is held by your heart. Oh, Laura, you're saying you've been all over the last few days. Exactly. That electrical field is held within your heart field. Your heart field, let's think about this. You've got this amazing heart organ and it holds the entire magnetic resonance of your energy field. Not to say it entirely creates it because you're plugged into the earth and that feeds a lot of electromagnetic in energy into you. You're plugged into all that is above and that brings electromagnetic energy in and your entire aura is designed to both act as a buffer against the negative or heavy electromagnetic disturbance, but also to connect you into the electromagnetic entire web of life that we are all a part of. So when your heart field is having to manage big solar flares, and that literally means that our amazing sun is being very active in the energy, in the elect electricity, which of course is also electromagnetic energy, that it's blasting out of itself. Now, sometimes it blasts it and those blasts don't affect our Earth's energy field directly because they're not pointing at it. It would kind of be like if someone in the room next door happened to do a big sneeze or a shout or something like that in an opposite direction of you, you may be aware of it on some level, but it doesn't impact you very much at all. Well, now imagine if someone was standing right in front of you and they did a big shout or a big sneeze or something like that. Whoa, it would come straight at you. It's like that with the, the sun and the earth. So we've been these last few days in an area of quite intense solar winds, solar storm. These amazing magnetic particles are coming in and our Earth's atmosphere are being charged with really big doses of solar energy. And that translates in every way into the human energy field. So that is why right here, right now, I'm talking about solar flares, because as we move into June, we're carrying a big legacy in our system of the impact of solar flares. And in all honesty, I haven't talked about solar flares yet this year, but they're only going to build in intensity during this year. And that's not me predicting it. That is the understanding, although I totally agree, that is the understanding that every 11 years, our sun gets very, very active. And we are 10 years out of that activity or 10 years into that activity. So from now on, all through next year, whereas these previous years we've had quiet sun times, quiet flares, there have still been some, but gradually they're going to ramp up in intensity. So I want to talk about that because I want us to be aware of it. I want us to be able to make sure that our energy systems are in their most resilient and 
most alignment. Because one thing I want to say straight up about solar flares is that they are amazing for helping us kind of access and download more coding in more solar coding in our energy systems. You, me, all of us are immense mergings of individuality, collective energy and cosmic energy. So we're always absorbing that cosmic energy. And when it's really charged, we absorb that charged particle. We absorb that charged information. So we can think of solar flares as being deeply in service to our evolution as part of humanity, part of life here on Earth. And at the same time, because they affect our physical system and our energy system so greatly, we want to be able to ground in them. And that comes very nicely forward into this energy that's right here. It's kind of, if I look out right now and I'm looking slightly beyond where am I looking? I'm looking 30 meters out, 30 meters up. That's where right now there is a bronze, beautiful bronze shimmering vibration that's merging with that silver that we've had all through, which also is quite shimmering. It's merging with that silver. We're still within the silver energy field, but my goodness, that bronze is coming in. And really, I suspect, where are we today? We're on Wednesday. Are oh, we? No, we're on Thursday. I suspect that by Saturday morning, it will be fully here. So a few days before we get to the 1st of June, but it's coming in. There's a beautiful point where the silver and the bronze just meet each other so naturally. Sometimes those cosmic vibrations are a bit jarring and there's a very distinct one in, one out kind of um, transition. But this one's going to have days of merging. So this bronze energy that's coming in for June. It's beautiful. It's not going to be it's not going to be asking a lot of your body. It's not going to be asking a lot of your um, transformation, not directly but it is big. It's that big cosmic field that's carrying all of these charged particles. So one of the big themes of this month is being able to kind of feel and be the stillness in the middle of that bigness, to be able to connect into and feel that real urgency that will be carried through that bronze energy and magnified by the solar flare energy. To be able to meet that, feel that potential, but also be able to be relaxed, joyful, present, right at the center of that. <laughs>